Hello dancers and welcome, Tika here. If you're new to my channel, this is Everyday Ballet, where no matter your age or your body type, I'm here to show you how to bring some authentic ballet grace and power into your life. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of those pesky foot cramps. Foot cramps are something that are very common, especially when you're starting out in ballet, but you don't even have to be doing ballet to get foot cramps. So I'm gonna show you how to alleviate those and remember if you like this video please like subscribe share and if you'd like to train ballet with me head over to everydayballet.com and check out our online training options I'm so delighted you're here let's ballet At some point in our lives, probably all of us have experienced foot cramps. But foot cramps are something that particularly come up when we're starting out in our ballet technique. And a lot of people think this is a cause for worry. But actually, foot cramps just happen because the muscles of the feet are being activated in a way they've never been activated before. And so sometimes they get a little cranky and they go, hey, what are you doing? And they start cramping up. But the good news is, is that one, they are easy to fix and two the foot cramping will go away as your feet get stronger and that really doesn't take very much time at all so let's go over first and foremost what you can do when you get a foot cramp so if you're doing ballet and you're pointing the toe and all of a sudden your foot cramps up all you have to do is stop and stand with a flat foot. And once you're standing with a flat foot, this should begin to alleviate the cramp. As long as you're not cramping too hard, go ahead and bend the knee. When you bend the knee, it's going to lengthen out the underside of the foot, and that will help those muscles to lengthen and relax. And be sure to breathe. So what I like to do if I get a foot cramp is I actually like to put the cramp cramping foot just behind me slightly so my feet are separated this way. I stand flat and then I hug it at the core and I bend the knee. Having the foot behind a little bit will give a little extra length on the Achilles. Just make sure that the heel is down and that the foot is flat on the floor. You will also want to make sure that you are keeping the knee over the toe and not letting it go like this. You want that full foot on the floor so you can lengthen out the underside of the foot. Foot. And once you get there, you just want to breathe and in fact be very generous with how you breathe. Give yourself a good three breaths. So breathing in and exhaling, just trying to feel the bottom of that foot spreading out. And again, breathing in and exhaling and letting that foot spread out. And one more time, breathing in and exhale. So you can do this little technique to, as often as you need to whenever you get a foot cramp. In fact, when I see new students, and this is when foot cramping is, is most rampant, is when they're just starting out, I always tell them, never fear stopping and doing what you need to take care of yourself. The feet will eventually get used to, they'll get strong enough to be able to do all of that pointing, that contracting and releasing so that you no longer have the foot cramps. But if you want to help Help yourself along and prevent those foot cramps it's really a matter of strengthening the feet and so there are several ways to do this it will be helpful for you to have a chair so go ahead and grab one and I'll meet you back here now just make sure that whatever chair you're using, you're able to sit on the edge of your chair with your feet flat on the floor. Now I have a few items here that I like to have on hand to do a foot pressure point release and conditioning. So let's go through those. I've provided the links down below in case you want to check them out. The first little thing that I use is a very common item. You can get it at a grocery store or a drugstore or a children's toy store. It is a jack ball. It's a hard rubber ball, a very small ball. And I like to use this for more intensive focus, pressure point release and massage on the bottom of the foot, as well as a conditioning tool to strengthen the bottom of the foot. 
The other item I have here is a high bounce ball. Now this is a softer ball. It is filled with air. And I love this ball for uh, using it at the bottom of the foot. It's not quite as intense of a pressure point release. And the rounded surface of the ball really gets in there under the arch of the foot to help release it. Next, we have something that a lot of dancers have in their toolbox. It's called a foot roller. And this is pretty much the standard size, but they come with different kinds of things in the middle here. Now, my foot roller is kind of an intense foot roller. Uh, it has some nubbies here, and those nubbies are meant to dig into the bottom of the foot for a deep pressure release. But depending on how sensitive the, bottom of your, the bottoms of your feet are, you may want to get one that's just wood with just these kind of grooves, that's going to have a, a less intense effect on the bottom of the foot. But you can also modify something like this, which is a pretty intense little foot roller, with a towel. So something you can do with your foot roller is, if it, that surface is too hard for the bottom of your foot and if it's sensitive, you can always roll your foot roller in a towel and that will dull the sensation of that wood or rubber pushing up against the bottom of the foot. Okay, so these are the items I like to have on hand. We are going to start out with the high bounce ball so you can really feel what that's like. So you're gonna be sitting on the edge of your chair. It's gonna be helpful if you're in bare feet and you're going to take your high bounce ball and you're going to step on it right in the middle. Now, I like to put the ball of my foot on the floor and I actually just like to lean and I like to put my elbows on uh, my leg, my knee here. And then I just like to roll that ball right under the foot. This is fairly mild and you can modulate the pressure. Um, and so this is a really good one for kind of a, a light massage on the bottom of the foot. And you'll just want to make sure, let me take this out so I can show you the bottom of my foot. My feet are not the prettiest, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so the bottom of the foot, you want to make sure that you're really massaging through this area, the arch of the foot. That is where you have these fascia. And when we're pointing and flexing, you're kind of contracting and releasing and stretching that area. And so the ball is just an assistive technology to really get up right in there. Now we are going to move on to our jack ball. Now this is more intensive and so you're really going to want to be careful about how much pressure you put into the feet and you'll see what I mean. So to begin let's talk about where we would want to release the feet. It's just right up here around the curve of the heel where it goes off into the arch. This is a place where all of these fascia are coming and they're attaching and so getting in there is just a really good way to, to start to release the bottom of the foot. But you'll notice when you put that ball under there and you start moving the foot around, that you may find places that are like the spot. And if you find the spot, just stop and hang out and breathe. And remember, you can always back off. This is really up to you how much pressure you put in that foot. Now we can also use our ball to condition the bottoms of the feet. So actually before we do the massage I like to do the conditioning part because the using the muscles and then releasing the muscles is a really good way to go. So we take the ball and actually we're going to be using it around the ball of the foot. So the ball of the foot is up around the toes here. You are going to try to grab the ball with the toes. When you do that you will notice that the bottoms of the feet start to activate and hopefully over time what happens is you're able to lift that ball up off the floor and then replace it. So when you lift this little ball in your toes and you may not be able to lift the ball and that's okay depending on the length of your toes it doesn't really matter if you lift the ball but the point is to try to lift the ball because when you do that you are going to be activating the bottoms of the feet and getting them used to kind of contracting up and then releasing and contracting up 
and releasing. And that's what we want ultimately. So if you can lift the ball with your toes, fantastic. If not, that's okay too. But see if you can do it about eight times and then you're gonna take that ball and put it down around the heel. You're gonna rub it around the arch. You're gonna bring it up. And when you find those pressure points, they should feel kind of good even though they might ache a little bit. Try and release on the top of that ball. So this is a very, very effective way to condition and massage and stretch the bottoms of the feet. You can also use your foot roller and potentially a towel uh, to be able to stand up and actually rub out the feet. So I'm gonna stand up here next to my chair. Let me just move this over just a little bit. So um, you can take your foot roller and if you don't need it, you don't have to use the towel, but basically you're gonna stand on your foot roller and roll back and forth. If that is too intense, you can always take your towel. You don't even need to wrap it around. You can just put it like that. And this will take, this will dull those little nubbies or the grooves on the wood there and you will be able to roll out your foot. They do make some foot rollers that are more sort of rubberized and a little bit softer so those are def definitely worth checking out as well but this is a really great way to uh, roll out the bottom of the foot. Now once you've rolled out the bottom of the foot and gotten a little bit of a stretch there let me turn to the side so you can see. You can place the ball of the foot uh, like right around the toe line here the joints of the toes on the roller itself and put the heel down and then from there you're going to bend the knee. When you bend the knee it's going to uh, not only stretch the Achilles and the calf but it'll also stretch the underside of the foot even more. So you know this is just a little bit more advanced than placing the foot flat on the floor and bending the knee. This takes it up a notch. So this is a good way to stretch out the bottom of the foot as well. I hope you found that helpful. Remember, if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like to train with me, please head over to everydayballet.com. I'd love to share more ballet with you. Thank you so much for sharing ballet with me. And until next time, happy dancing.